guys. My cat is scratching on something. I already filmed this video, but my phone kind of decided to delete it, or I guess I'm just an idiot and I deleted it myself. And I didn't mean to when I was looking over it and editing it on my phone, so I'm going to have to redo this before I go into work. That's why my hair kind of looks like a frazzled mess, because I didn't know I was going to be receiving my birch box today. And um, I'm going into work in about an hour or two, and I really don't dress up for work. I'm required to put my hair up. Um, for work, so I don't really do anything with my hair on days that I'm going to work, and I usually don't wash it the night before. Um, I mean, I wash my hair every other night because it's bad to wash your hair every single day, so. Anyway, rambling about my hair, I know that's not what you care about and that you came here for this. This is the November Birch Box, and I actually have not been checking my emails, so I was surprised to see this in my mail today. It is only, like, the 9th, I think, but... I think I'm thinking of Ipsy that comes later in the month, um, but Birchbox usually does come earlier. This is what the inside looks like. Of course, I've already... Phew, something fell out. Of course, I've already opened it and looked at everything. I did film a unboxing, but I deleted it, as I said. And this one has four different items and a lifestyle extra for your man or your dad or your cousin, your brother. You know, you don't have to have any man in your life for this. But I'll go ahead and do the lifestyle extra first. It is called John Varvatos Artisan. I believe that's how you pronounce that. And it is a cologne. It is called the Eau de Toilette, however you say that crap. And it actually smells pretty good. It's kind of, oh, it kind of fell, spilled out a little bit on me. It's kind of citrusy. It's not like your normal, like, really musky man cologne scent. It's really subtle um, and I think you could actually wear it your own on your own because it doesn't really scream cologne to me it's kind of like a neutral smell I may be totally wrong on that I mean that's just how I see it or smell it I guess but I would totally wear this because I really like the citrus smell but I guess I'll give this to my fiance I don't think he's ever worn cologne <laughs> as far as I've known him so maybe he'll try this out I don't know Let's go in order now. The first thing is a Lulu Organics Lavender and Clary Sage Hair Powder. And this is a dry shampoo for, like today, on days that you haven't washed your hair the day before. And um, the directions say you gently tap a dime-sized amount of powder onto the palm of your hand, run palms together and work through the roots of your hair, and then you brush through it to get the white out. And this says it does not leave any white residue and that it gives your hair a lift and it makes it look cleaner. I've actually never used a dry shampoo that was a powder form. I used the Suave, um, it was like a foam type deal and it didn't work. It actually made my hair look worse. So I've just never tried another dry shampoo before. But I guess I'll give this a try. It, it you know, I've never tried a powder. So we'll see how this goes and I'll let you know in like a favorites video or a disappointing products video if it's that bad. The next product that Birchbox sent in their November box is the Monaco Fiber Lash Extend Lengthening Mascara. And it says falsies without the fuss. This innovative mascara used tiny lash extending fibers to give you a lengthy fringe. And this is actually a pretty decent size. I mean I'm guessing that this is full sized. Um, and it has a little mirror on the back, so I guess you can throw this in your purse. And if you're on the go and you forgot to put on mascara, which doesn't seem like something that would happen, but I've actually been doing that a lot. I've been putting on a full face of makeup and heading out the door and totally realizing like an hour or two later that I didn't put on mascara. So I might just throw this into my um, purse, into my little makeup bag in my purse, because... It's actually pretty handy that it has this little mirror that you can just, you know, look and apply. And it tells you to um, rotate the wand to pick up the fibers in this. And I thought that was really interesting because, you know, you're not supposed to pump it. And I thought it was weird that it's telling you to rotate it around. But I guess that's different because pumping it is putting air into it. That's an awkward um, hand gesture. But pumping it actually puts air into your mascara, which can um, put make bacteria grow and that could lead to eye infections which is why it's very important to never ever pump your mascara 
and to throw it out at least every sixth product is Mox Spectanicals Pomegranate and Fig Lip Butter. And I actually put this on when I did the unboxing and it actually, ooh, I dropped it. And I really like the way it feels and the way it smells. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's just pretty and I think this might be brown, no it's black. A black and pink packaging and it is just a little tiny um, lip butter right here. And it's actually a pretty decent sized product. Now I know that it's probably just, you know, where it twists and down here is probably empty because that's what packaging likes to do to you. It likes to trick you into thinking you have so much when you don't. But it says .1 ounce, so that's probably how much it is. I mean, it's enough for you to try it out and to buy it if you like it. And um, it has avocado oil and shea butter in it. And the full size is $16. Oh, and... I didn't say that the full size of this, I don't think I did, it was, is $24. So this pays for your entire bag, or box, because Birch Box is only $10 a month. And this alone pays for it, because it is $24. And I'm assuming that this is full size, because if this isn't full size, I'd really like to see what they're full sized in. Then the last thing is One Love Organics. And there was two organic products in that, in this box. Isn't that odd? It says, made with pumpkin seed and seed. Pumpkin seed and sea buckthorn oil. This fast absorbing oil keeps skin supple and hydrated. Bonus, it has aromatherapy benefits. And it actually it comes in this cute little box. Um it says give, you know, you're supposed to reuse this um little package it came in to put in something, you know, you're giving to one of your girlfriends for Christmas or whatever. But anyway. Inside is the One Love Organics um, oil, and this actually kind of busted a little bit. It was, um, my cat is rubbing my leg like a freak. Um, it was opened up a little bit, and a little bit of the oil kind of spilled out. You can see at the top where just a tiny bit is missing, so no big deal. It was contained in this little thing, and it had um, a plastic wrapper around it, so maybe they were... Um, foreseeing that happen for some reason. Sorry, my kitty is... My kitty wants attention. You see her face? Isn't it weird? Um, I guess I'm not giving her enough attention. Um, you can sit on my lap. I don't really like the smell of this. I think it's the chamomile that makes it smell so strong. It kind of smells like a weird baby powder to me, if that makes any sense. Or it just smells like a baby product to me. I may be crazy, but... I think I'll give this to my mom or something because I don't foresee myself using it because the scent is kind of musky. Actually, it kind of smells like how perfumes used to smell back in the day, if that makes sense. Maybe like that Chanel 5 or 4? I don't know what the number is. But I swear, I think that Chanel, you know, that really expensive Chanel perfume that everyone goes crazy about. I think it just smells like baby powder and old lady, so I don't really see the big deal. But anyway, that is everything in the November Birch Box. And um, I, I actually got, I got this as well. It's just a coupon code for some shoes, I think, maybe? Yeah, shoes. Oh, sh the options are oh so endless and it's just $88 a pair. And then they show you these flats that, oh, covering up the wrong side. And then they show you these flats that are, like, just kind of plain. I mean, they're cute, but I would not... Did you meow at me? Um, I would not pay $88 for a pair of flats. And, I mean, you do get a $15 off. It's still too much for my taste. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry about my cat being a freak the entire time. Coming up next will probably be my Ipsy unbagging, or glam bag, or whatever, whenever that comes in. They ship mid-month, so it might be a little later. I'll leave the um, link below for last month's um, Ipsy, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, Chill. Hey, Kitty. Why are you going to be interrupting me the whole time making a video? Now you're not even going to talk. Sometimes she meows back at me, but I guess she's just not feeling it today. Are you not feeling it? Huh?
Chill? Kiki? Her name's Chill. This is what was meowing in the background the entire time. And now, of course, she's going to be quiet. Aren't you? Oh, don't fall off the couch. Chill. Meow. Uh, all right, Jen.